for giving us stories every week. They sit back there and you don't see them, but they do an awesome job. My name is Pastor Ari and I pastor here at Worship Harvest Nalia. Every week we bring you a story of transformation from our missional communities, which are our mid-sized groups. Worship Harvest is not Worship Harvest without mission or communities. Today I'm so excited because we have young blood on the stage. <laughs> this mission or community is from Worship Harvest downtown. <laughs> they are called the Chosen Army Mission or Community. <laughs> and they are led by a 13 year old here called Gabriella. Now, if you're already leading a location, maybe you can't clap, eh? But that's better. That's better. Gabriela, how many people do you have in your mission or community? And what, what do you do as a mission or community? Thank you, Pastor Ari. I would like to thank Apostle Mose and Pastor Ari. Plus my location of pastor, Pastor Fiona Mulira. So in our missional community, what we do is to evangelize, do frontiers, we look for the lost sheep. Uh, and um, my name is our Gabriela, Ashant Gabriela. I'm the leader of Chosen Army Teens MC. Awesome, awesome. Now every missional community leads at least one person to Christ every week. And so Gabriela, tell us about your last evangelism drive where you went what you did and how many people gave their lives to christ uh last saturday we went to campus chambogo university we evangelized and we got 21 souls i expected a bigger clap than that these teenagers you see here went to chambogo university evangelized and got 21 souls so in heaven there is a party down here there is a party because some people have come to the saving knowledge of jesus amen. amen now another thing that we do in the community is that we go and we are church to people in the community in a very relevant way gabriella can you tell us about the last frontier you had where you went what you did and what the impact was okay. uh, so last month we went to our community. There was an old woman. We bought for her some small things and we took to her place. We, we, well, we helped her wash the dishes, mopped, washed for her clothes, and she was very happy. She prayed for us and she blessed us. Wow. Now, Imagine that old lady and what her life has been when young people go and clean for her, wash for her, bless her with some few things, which don't take a lot of money, but change her life completely. Gabriela, tell us about some people's lives that have been changed within the missional community. I have a friend called Anisha. Is she here? Yes. Anisha, Anisha can you put up your hand? Awesome. Anisha was a girl who used to come to church, but she never wanted uh, the MC thing. We called her one day, but then she never even wanted to come. We called her, we told her there, there will be snacks. Then she allowed. <laughs> then we started praying, we are even in, we're on the ward. And then she was like, she, the things are not coming, the eats are not coming. She was like, ah, these guys told me there will be eats, but I'm not seeing them. And she used to be this person who used to be, if you tell her something, she backs at you, she abuses you. But now she has changed completely. And she's now in the worship team of downtown. Hey. She even preaches the gospel. She even preaches the gospel. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. I think there's someone else whose story you were telling me earlier on. Maybe you can tell everyone that okay. story. It's Winnie. Win Is Winnie here? Awesome. Winnie had a problem. She was sick of asthma. Every time she would be in the hospital. But one day, Apostle told about 
saying two miracles are coming ahead of me. She said that and she's healed, she's completely healed. Oh, we thank God so much. Now, I like that those people back there have stood up because they've understood exactly what is happening. <laughs> yes, those who have stood up, yes, clap your hands. Thank God for these awesome people. They are doing